Our administrative staff has gotten very good at being intuitive about what a potential customer really needs from a Fox Family Heating and Air Conditioning service technician. With all that fancy HVAC jargon like an AC tune-up, diagnostic service call, HVAC inspection, or safety inspection, how are you supposed to know what it is that you should be asking for when you call in? In this episode, we're going to narrow it down to our most needed services. Let's talk about how to tell if you need an AC tune-up or a diagnostic service call. Now, I'm not here trying to bag on anyone, but it is true that some people will call into Fox Family and say that they need us to come out and do a tune-up on their system. So we'll ask them something like, is your system currently working okay? Or are you having any problems with your system right now? And they'll say, yeah, but I noticed like this burnt smell coming from the registers and uh, not as much air seems to be coming out. Or yeah, it's just not as cool as it used to be in here. So I thought I'd come out and just have you add some Freon. So here's a chance for me to clarify the difference between a diagnostic service call and an AC tune-up. The main points that we want to identify with you when you call into Fox Family is whether your system is running just fine or if you're calling because you think something just isn't right with the AC. Folks who call us for a tune-up think that their system is running just fine. They just believe in doing preventive maintenance on their system will make their system not only cleaner but will make it last longer. When we come out on a tune-up, we have a checklist of things that we're looking at. The main components of the system, your thermostat, your filters, the duct work. We're also checking things like the temperature of the air coming out of the registers in your room versus the temperature of the air going in to where your filter is in the hallway. Then we start really looking into the major components like the motors and devices in the system that make your machine work. With our meters and our testing equipment, we can see what's going on inside the motor. Is it working too hard? Is the right voltage being applied to it? Is there enough refrigerant in the system? On top of the mechanical components of the system, we're going to look at the drainage system, the refrigerant metering devices, high voltage wiring, and tighten connections as needed. We can also check for shrubs around the AC unit that might prevent proper heat transfer. We'll also make sure that the unit is level and, of course, clean the AC as well. Your utility company and Fox Family thinks that a clean air conditioner and heating system will last longer than a dirty one. If your system isn't running quite the way you think it should be, meaning Friday before we went on camping for the weekend, the AC was working just fine and now there isn't any air coming out of the registers. This means that you're calling in for a diagnostic service call. Some people just call it a service call. Here, your technician will ask you a few questions about your system and go straight for the problem so that you can begin cooling as soon as possible. They won't really be interested in combing over the entire system with a fine brush, but they will make sure that the rest of your AC is functioning properly so you won't have any foreseeable problems. Having said that, your technician's probably not going to replace the capacitor in the outdoor unit and also discover that your drain line is, isn't functioning properly since you didn't really say anything leading us to believe that something was wrong with the drain line. Another example would be something like discovering that your compressor was bad, but two weeks later your control board goes out because of a fractured solder connection or something like that. That's something that we'd likely see and tell you about on a furnace tune-up in the winter, but not really look for when we're just trying to get your system cooling again on a 100 degree day. I know there are some weird nuances that I'm talking about here, but hopefully I'm making sense. See, on diagnostic service calls, we're mainly just focused on getting you back up and running as soon as possible. Technicians will pretty much look around the unit that they're working on, like if the AC outside has a capacitor go out, and you thought the system was working just fine until yesterday when you called us, they'll likely just change the capacitor and maybe even forgo climbing in the attic to do a thorough analysis of anything that might be going wrong with it. We're damned if we do and damned if we don't sometimes. Because some folks want to pay as little as possible to get their system back up and running and almost find it offensive if we recommend other repairs that might not actually prevent the system from running today but could go out in the foreseeable future. Others will say, well, why didn't you bring that up the last time I was here when you were just here two months ago? Whether you need a simple tune-up or a diagnostic service call, it's going to be the same price at Fox Family, so there's no better call to have us come out on. Now that you know the difference, you'll be better prepared to make the phone call to your HVAC company and tell them which service you need. 
A tune-up won't correct a broken system, much like a tune-up or oil change on your car isn't going to fix your transmission problem. Tune-ups may identify some issues with your systems that you didn't know existed. At the same time, a diagnostic service call may identify the need for regular preventive maintenance in the form of a tune-up. If this is your first time watching our channel, please click subscribe down here on the bottom right. And if you click the little bell next to it, you'll be notified of all of our videos as they come out. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you on the next video. You're watching Fox Family Heating, Air and Solar. Don't forget to subscribe. And check out more of our videos by clicking on the right side of the screen.